guys, welcome back to today's video. I am doing a very chill spring clothing try on haul. I have clothing from Mod Cloth, ASOS, Loft, American Eagle, and also my Rocks Box. I also explored a local boutique in my area and this is something I picked up from them. Oh, these are the earrings that I got from my Rocks Box and I absolutely love them. To death. So if you like seeing videos like this, don't forget to subscribe because I do upload every Monday and Friday. I am going to make sure I link everything in my description box for you guys just so it's really easy for you guys to find everything that I did purchase. I'm going to start with Mod Cloth because this is probably the one that I'm the most excited about and why not do it at the very beginning of this video. I must be obsessed with stars right now. My biggest weakness is dresses. I love fancy dresses. And this dress has star designs on it. And I thought this could be something that I could use in a photo shoot or a night out or something. Because I am the type of gal that likes a really pretty romantic lacy dress for dates. This has a black slip dress underneath it. It's a nice satin material. And then it just has this star mesh on top of it. I just, I was so in love with this when I saw it. It's so romantic, but it is like a midi length dress. It has three tiers on it. I have so much in mind with this dress. Exactly how I was hoping it was gonna be. Obviously brand mod cloth. It's a size large. Can't wait to try that on. been in need of pants. So I saw they had a pair of black business pants on their website and it was for a really good discounted price. I got these loose fit elastic band in the back, little buttons with anchors on them in the front, and it is high-waisted. I have very, very high hopes for this. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work out really nicely for me. I just needed a pair of black pants that would go with anything. It has a zipper on the side, so this is just gonna be really easy to get in and out of. And I love the little anchor buttons. I think that's just so cute. I could add some florals, leopard prints, crop tops, beautiful, simple satin shirts, even something like this I could wear with it tucked in and make it a high-waisted, loose-fit top. Those are my choices from Mod Cloth and I'm gonna style those for you in just a little bit. ASOS. I recently have been really getting into ASOS because of their tall line. I have been struggling a little bit to find um, clothing that is fit to my figure, aside from Stitch Fix. I feel like Stitch Fix has been getting it pretty well, but it's just nice finding those brands that cater to tall people. If you didn't watch my most recent Stitch Fix, I got a blazer in that fix and I would have been really wanting an oversized blazer, but I needed one that was more affordable. And the reason I didn't get that one is because I did find one on ASOS that I knew I loved. We've got a blazer, folks. Exactly what I was hoping it was gonna be. Padded shoulders, which is really growing on me and I think I'm going to end up really liking this. I really wanted something that I could pull out and wear anytime and feel good and comfortable in. This material feels really nice. The buttons look nice. I just, it almost feels nicer than the one that I got in my Stitch Fix. That's really cool. I really like it when I find stuff like that. This is tall, which I really needed. It's almost similar to the shirt that I'm wearing today. I must have some type of interest in that color right now, obviously. It was cheaper than the one that I would have gotten in my Stitch Fix. And this is exactly what I was looking for. I have so much going through my mind right now on what I want to do with this blazer. I 
I did not get the pair of jeans that was in my Citrix as well. I got a pair of jeans from ASOS from their tall brand. These are mom jeans, size 10. This material feels really good and my goodness, the price that I paid for this was half of what I would have paid for the jeans that I got offered on Citrix. And this material feels just as nice. So I'm really hoping this will fit how I've been wanting. It has the rolled up cuff design there and the pockets are what I was going for. I wanted just a simple vintage type look and these are going to be the high waist that I've been looking for. So I can't wait to try these on for you guys so you guys can see what I was talking about because it really has been a while that I've been wanting to get a pair of jeans and I just decided to go ahead and get them myself because these are what I was looking for. These are very heavy duty and they have a really nice amount of stretch in them and I cannot wait to style these for you guys. Last thing that I got in my ASOS, this is a satin dress, which I really wanted to style with a blazer. I really hope this is how it looked on the website. I feel like sometimes ASOS can be hit or miss. I hope this is gonna fit me. Size 10, I don't think I got this from the tall. I'm pretty sure this is just a regular size 10 slip dress. I don't have any dresses like this. All I have is a black shift dress. It does come with slits on the side, which is what I was hoping it was gonna be. I definitely gonna have to be careful with this because I don't think it's very, very sturdy, but I did get it for a really good, decent price. And I think this is gonna do what I'm wanting it to do, so. I can use this for a date night, I can use it for work, I can just use it if I want a nice comfy outfit and just throw a big oversized sweater on top of it with a pair of cute boots. There's just a lot that I could do with this and I am making a capsule wardrobe video and that is something I had in mind along with the blazer that I wanted to include in that video. All this stuff kind of plays into more videos that I have coming for you in the future. American Eagle. I finally just decided to go ahead and invest in a pair of their curvy jeans because I went in store and tried on a couple of them and I really, really liked the high-waisted curvy mom jeans and I just decided it's time to get them. I've been waiting for a while to get some good jeans and they just recently had a good sale so I went ahead and got them. American Eagle jeans are my ride or die. I have two pairs. I got a light wash jean pair and then a black pair. And they're both the mom jean. They're both long, they're both curvy, high-waisted. They have a little bit of distress on them. Just a regular loose fit ankle. I think these are gonna satisfy my need for jeans because I desperately need jeans that fit me right. These are the tall mom jeans, same style, actually not same style. These are just black, no distress on them. These are something I can wear to work as well. These are gonna be nice just for every day, finally. And I know these are gonna fit me because I did try them on in store before I bought them. I just waited for them to have a good sale.
So a couple other things that I have here are just a few basics from Loft. I literally got this top for like $6 and it's a really, really nice sturdy tank top. I love this. So I just got a couple basics from them. I got a black tank top just for layering purposes. And then they also had a white, which I can always use the basics. And some of these are going to be included in my capsule wardrobe coming up. So next I have a little bag from a local boutique and then I have my rocks box. Let's do the boutique first. Dragonfly wrapping paper. I love that. I picked this up from their clearance rack. This is just a simple white button up shirt, which is something else that I wanted to include in my capsule wardrobe. I got this for a really decent price. I think this was like $20. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just so shiny and so fancy. Last item here is my rocks box. I have a whole video explaining what this is. I will link that above for you. I also have a referral code if you're interested in trying it out and you get the first month free. And these ones I did pick out myself. They do style them for you, but I always swap mine out because I don't know, I just have certain pieces that I want to invest in and we'll see if I like any pieces that I chose. First one. This is the ring. The retail price for this is $60. The member price is $51. I really, really like how it's kind of stacked up. This is definitely more of a statement. And actually, this will go really pretty with this outfit. Let me change out this ring. Oh, no. I'm not going on that finger. This ring is from Sophie Harper. It's a crystal faux stacking rings in gold. Next. Oh, I forgot about my shipping label. I'm going to put that over there. Ooh, these are pretty. These are a lot smaller than I thought though. These are the Sophie by Sterling double bar and circle drop earrings. The retail price for these is $75 and the member price is $63. I've been ignoring the silver jewelry and some of you were telling me, hey, you need to be looking into more of the silver jewelry. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna listen to you. And I really like these. I'm glad I listened to you guys. And then the last one is going to be a pair of hoops. These are so cute. These are from Slate, the Lola Hoops and Leopard. And these retail for $60. The member price would be $51. I love the leopard fur around it. And then it has like the gold trimming. These feel really heavy though. That's really cute. I really like these. I'll definitely style these with today's outfits. I think I'm ready to go do some styling and trying on and talking to you guys about all this stuff. <laughs> I am in love with it. The stars in here are just so pretty and I'm just, I really have a thing for stars right now. I love the neckline of this. I definitely would need to wear a strapless bra with this, but I just kind of threw it over with what I had on. I'm gonna be trying on lots of things today, but I love it. It's so romantic. Like, honestly, I really would wear this for a date night. I think it's a bit much, but sometimes I can be a bit much. This is so comfortable. I love the elastic. And I love that it's T length. I think that's really pretty. But I love how this isn't too much. Sometimes you get those dresses that have the tulle and they're just, they go out too much and that just does not look right on me. But this is subtle enough that I can pull it off. I am definitely keeping this dress. I love it. I love how it sits on me. And let's get a view of the back. So pretty. I'm definitely a romantic when it comes to fashion.
It's very lightweight. I thought it was gonna be really, really cheap feeling, but it's really not. This would be a good like Christmas Eve dress or something. I know this is the wrong time of the year to be getting stuff like that, but I knew it was me the minute I saw it. I really like it with the earrings. I think the stars and then the star so much. I love it. When I first saw this, I thought that I would like more of a rose gold star design, but actually I really like silver. And I just paired it with um, these simple black heels and you got such a cute look. And this was not expensive at all. This is definitely my type of look. So you guys are gonna have to let me know your thoughts down below. I definitely am a little bit extra sometimes, but sometimes I just can't help it. I got a size large, but I definitely could have gone down a size, but I don't mind it at all. I don't think I'm going to actually exchange it out because I do like how this looks. Just love that sheer material, and this is light enough to be worn in the springtime, but in the winter, I could throw a faux fur wrap or something over this, and it would look really cute. Here are the Mod Cloth business pants that I got. I don't know what they're called, business pants, but... Um, so these have little anchor buttons on them, and I love how high-waisted these are. These are so comfortable. This is the loft layering piece that I got. My favorite thing is how high this comes up. It just, it's a perfect fit. It's really comfortable. Do you want to see how this looks with the blazer? I'm going to go try that on, and I think that's really going to pull this whole look together. And here is the suit. The only thing, I think this is a bit too big for me because the shoulder pads kind of come out here. So I could always go down a size, but I really do like how this looks. I love how low the suit goes. I definitely have needed more business type looks and this is definitely more my style. And I really, really like the color of this blazer because I could pair this with so many different outfits. In fact, I am gonna try it on with the midi dress, not midi dress, the satin dress, because I think that'll look really pretty with this. I'll try it buttoned. I think I might actually like it opened, but I can't get it, hold on, there we go. You have to tell me if you like it buttoned or if you like it unbuttoned. I personally like it unbuttoned but this definitely does give me a little bit more shape. Yeah, I think it's giving me way too much shoulder. Probably, I might actually go down a size. And I do like it with these earrings. I think it just adds a little bit extra to the look. Let me, there we go. Yeah, I like it. I really did almost get the suit from Stitch Fix, but I do think that I like this one better. I just like how oversized it is. I really, really like this look, especially with just the high-waisted pants, these buttons, this top, and just a simple suit like this is so me. I really like this soft beige apricot color. Get you a view of the back with it not buttoned, and I don't mind it. So this is the black slip dress that I was talking about and I wanted something like this in my wardrobe because I can do so much with this. Like I can use this as a layering piece. I can use this as a really pretty date night piece. I could definitely wear this on its own with a pair of like black strappy heels. It does also sit on me really nicely. So I'm, I'm going to try this with the blazer because I want to see how that would look. I have a couple ideas in mind that I might show you guys and yeah, I'm a stylist for you guys. I'll be right back. So here's one example of how I can wear this slip dress and I really, really like this look. Very lightweight, but very, very complimentary at the same time. And you can really have fun with stuff like this. I love how high this slit comes up. I would really like it if it came out on the side though. Like that would be really pretty. I am just wearing these Sophie Harper earrings. I really, really like this sterling silver. Some of you have been telling me to get into the sterling silver and 
I'm gonna start listening to you. I can tell I'm getting into the minimalistic look these days, but I can't help it. I just, I love that vibe. I can't get over these buttons. I threw on this ring too. I really like how that looks. This is another outfit idea I have in mind. I've had this faux fur vest for a really long time and I haven't really um, figured out how to wear it. And I thought with a slip dress like this, I could do something with it. So I actually really like this look. It's definitely not great for spring, but I just want to throw this in here just so you guys could give me some ideas maybe. I need some inspiration. Just throw that in there real quick. So this is another outfit I had in mind with this dress. Ignore the big knot. I don't know how to fix that. I'm just throwing an idea out. Um, but I wanted to throw like a sweater like this over and then have the back hang low like that. I just have to figure out how I'm going to get that to look right because that does not look right. So throw on a really comfy oversized sweater. Actually, I think I need to find a crop sweater. I think that's what I'm going for. Maybe that's what it is, but I can even do the off the shoulder Make it a little bit more relaxed. So I'd love to hear what you guys think about like something like this. I'm just trying to figure out what would look good with this. I've just gotten so many ideas recently and I wanted to try stuff that I already have in my closet with this. Am I stretching this look? I don't know. Still wearing that ring with this outfit. Like them. You know what? Let me show you the back. It's just like a really pretty relaxed fit. I really like it. So please leave me your thoughts below on this outfit because I'm trying to figure the best way to wear this. I really, really like how the waist is so comfortable for me. Not happen very often. I really like this design right here. I think that's really pretty. And these are the perfect pair of pants that I was looking for. So if you guys are on the lookout for the perfect high-waisted mom jean look, I recommend ASOS. This is a really nice sturdy material. Lift and shape for tall. If you've been here on my channel, you know how long I've been looking for it. But these are exactly what I wanted to a T. I definitely think I have been smitten by the blazer trend and the mom jean trend. But I am going to be wearing these so much. They are just so comfortable. And they actually fit me right. Threw over this white blouse from that boutique just to get like a very minimalistic look. This is a stay at home look for me. I love this shirt so much. It's so comfortable. And with these jeans, it just, the jeans add the figure. This is just a nice comfortable fit. And I do have the tank top underneath this. And I really, really like that look. Yeah, I definitely think it would look better tucked in. I love the design of this shirt though. It's really pretty. I love the collar too. I really think that collars are definitely something I need to get more into. Oversized stuff with high-waisted jeans. Yes. I think actually the, the hoops go with the shirt really well because of that print. But in fact, maybe I'll wear this today. I feel so fancy, but at the same time, very relaxed. Love it. There is something about American Eagle jeans that just make you feel right at home. And I like this little just dressed look. Maybe I could even throw the blazer on, but these are a perfect fit. I mean, I knew these would fit because I've tried them on before, but, and these are a little bit more tapered than my ASOS ones, but I know between the two of these, I am going to be wearing lots of crop tops and all that fun stuff. So. This is just gonna be an amazing staple for me. There is something about me and high-waisted jeans that just 
go together. And really, American Eagle jeans come at a very good price, especially when you get them on sale. So I was really happy about this. So I just wanted to show you what they looked like. These are the black version of those mom jeans. These are still the curvy jean with the size 10 and the long style. And these are perfect. I can do so much with these again. I really have needed to invest in the staples. I don't have to constantly be worrying about, oh, let me pull my jeans up. It makes me be more conscious of my standing up straight and posture. I love the back pocket design and American Eagle jeans have the perfect amount of stretch in them so that you can get into them but it doesn't like stretch out the waistband so it starts sagging on you. And especially since I'm doing that capsule wardrobe coming up, I can use this as one of my base colors. One of the biggest things that I really appreciate with the ASOS jeans and these mom jeans is that these make room for my hips and they actually have the pulled in waist. So if you're having trouble fitting into regular jeans, try the curvy because they fit my figure perfectly and I have larger hips so it's just difficult to get fitted into jeans more but I can walk comfortably and confidently. I quickly threw on this jean jacket just to see how it would look with the jeans and I actually really like this look. Hey, okay, now we can wear my jean jacket. It just looks better with high waisted stuff you know. Love it. I hope you guys enjoy this little clothing haul video. I wanted to throw out some inspiration. Oops. Bumping into my plant here, but I want to throw out a little bit inspiration and I've been definitely into the minimalistic look kind of that dress is not minimalistic, but I mean the pants and the the tank tops and the blazer the the black satin dress with this I've been really trying to make it a point to dress up look nice during the day and I mean when I go to work to look professional and look nice, look pulled together and just make that extra effort. So that's been my goal this year and I feel like I finally found some basics that I will really put to good use and putting my ideas out there and then you guys can put yours out there and I can learn from you guys and get inspired by all your creativity. But anyway, capsule wardrobe is coming soon. I am working hard on that for you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. And I will see you on Friday. Bye.